Zidane Dayuni, Electro Ninja here, and welcome back to Electro Ninja's lab. Today is a bit different. This is the last video of the decade of 2019 and the 2010s. It's hard to believe that there have been this many years in such a short time. Four years here on, well, four and a half years here on YouTube for me, and about half my life just in the world. As I said, I am in multiple videos, I am currently 20 and a half. And it's odd, to say the least, to be thinking that we're going to be entering the fourth decade that I have actually lived on Earth. Because of the fact that I was born in 99, I have technically lived, at this point, I have currently lived in three different decades. And with the fourth one coming soon. Needless to say, it's insane to be thinking about. So I thought I would look back at these 10 years and what has happened. Obviously, we have to start when I was 10. At that point, I was playing just video games, Kingdom Hearts, the Lego games, the smaller games, all on my PS2, just having fun. Maybe occasionally I would play on my Wii, playing the sports games and a few other Lego games, but that was pretty much it. And it continued like that for a little while. I would get into a few other games, mostly like smaller titles that you wouldn't really think of, and that was pretty much my position for those years, for the first four, uh, for the first few years. And as for anime, the only ones that I was really uh, interacting with were things like Ghibli, Steam Boy, and Pokemon, as well as a few others that were here in America that were extremely well known. But even to that extent, it was still a much smaller amount than I am used to nowadays. As of now, I have gotten connected with tons of anime. Even though I haven't necessarily watched every single anime, such as I still haven't watched a single episode of One Piece or Dragon Ball or quite a few actually, I am still aware of what they are and whether or not they would interest me. And that actually occurred when I finally went to high school. When I was just a little bit away from creating this YouTube channel. There was a lot that happened during that time. I just had fun. I I made my first YouTube channel that was basically just my Google account, and I still don't use that. I've used it once, and it's under my real name, and all it has is literally a video for my um, audition for GCU, and that's it. Basically, that channel is just for my personal stuff, and it's not, not a huge deal. And so on and so forth. Many things have happened since then. I've grown up. In my, my sophomore year of high school, I began a few things. One, I went to a new youth group, which, if you guys aren't aware, what those are is that 
basically Christians when they're about uh, when they're in their teenage years, especially they will be going to this group that will have lots of kids, and it happens at least once a week, maybe twice a week, depending on which youth group you go to. And I began going to a new one, and eventually I began going to a new church, where I would meet my very first girlfriend, who, if you guys have been on this channel before, that you know as Frank the Dopamine Dog, uh, basically, she is still one of my best friends, and I still send you guys over to her channel every now and again when she creates something cool, and it's actually kind of insane. Um, she hasn't really done much on YouTube, but so, uh, but that's college for you. You can't really do as much. Um... And during my high school years, I met some of my greatest friends, Shazar, who is, uh, I know that's not, is, that's not his real name, but to protect his identity, we use Shazar, his superhero name. And the same goes for all of my other friends. I met Inferno, who, yes, that's not his real name, um, who has actually been on the channel before. Uh, we actually call him uh, Killer Dwarf but he has been in multiple videos, specifically the Halloween and Christmas videos. He helped out quite a bit last year, and those were my two, uh, my first two friends that I met in the, in my freshman year of high school. Then sophomore year came, and I met Frank the Dopamine Dog. <laughs> And so on and so forth. I met a lot more friends. I went to Upward Bound, which, if you guys are still in high school, I do suggest actually checking that out because it really helps if you're planning on going to college. Now, so, yeah, definitely check that out if you guys are interested. It's, like I said, it's really helpful. And I made some new friends, some friends that I don't really talk to anymore, but they are still people that I would consider good friends, and honestly, I kind of wish that I could talk with them again. Um, and then, of course, after sophomore year, in junior year began, I started work on this YouTube channel, August before junior year, I began this YouTube channel. I created my first video during sophomore year, but it didn't show up until way later, and you guys know that as the Constantine video. Yes, that was the very first video that I ever created for this YouTube, that eventually came to this YouTube channel. And so on and so forth. Many, many videos have grown since then. And... I've created so many. Mostly the Minecraft uh, started off with those stupid Minecraft videos. Videos that, while important, yes, they just... I can't believe that I haven't really talked about it. <laughs> I came to Minecraft late. Minecraft was starting to die. Fortnite hadn't begun yet, but it was going to begin soon. Miraculous didn't exist yet. My Hero Academia didn't exist yet. And The Odd Ones Out had only been around for a year longer than me. That's actually true. He is about one year older than me on YouTube. And that's how it was. I, the, the animation community was just about to start, and here I was, making stupid Minecraft videos that nobody cared about. Eventually, of course, I changed my strategy. I continued to make Minecraft videos for a little while, but when something, uh, and during that time, though, I met my second girlfriend. 
who you guys knew as Ender Moon. And we're not going to be dwelling on that topic for very long. Even though she did have a very important role for multiple years. The whole section, that whole section of my life would not have happened without her. And my YouTube channel didn't grow very much, but it did grow a little bit with my first music video, the one of the most viewed videos on my channel, with it actually currently being, I believe, number eight on my most viewed videos. And honestly, I can't believe that that happened over that short of a time. I actually succeeded a little bit. Well, it wasn't much, it was still quite an achievement for me to get over 400 views, which now seems pretty minor compared to my top seven videos, but it was a big deal for me. And I continued to grow. Obviously, Minecraft eventually, I gave up on it, but that didn't happen until it was time for me to just quit YouTube altogether. For those of you who don't know, when Ender Moon eventually cheated on me and broke up with me, we... I stopped. I stopped caring. I didn't want to do YouTube. I wasn't having fun. I, I occasionally did stuff with my friend, but that was about it. And eventually I did make some live streams and some videos, but most of that stuff is pretty lacking and honestly kind of hard to come by. I started doing live streams on Twitch if I did anything, and obviously I didn't show my face because I didn't have the technology yet. And so it continued. Eventually, I made my first, well, review, and while that might have actually begun the show it some love, and I also began my very first theory chat, lots of videos began coming about during that time, but it was still not my calling, not the one thing that would start me going. It was time for Miraculous, a show that honestly came out of nowhere. Miraculous and My Hero Academia, I started a little bit late. I didn't even know about them until they were already in their second season. So I saw them and I was like, hmm, these seem interesting. Maybe I should check them out. And the two of them sparked something in me making me happy again. My Hero Academia, it was a hero's show, a show that I could love, that delved into the Japanese culture, but also the hero culture, a culture that I had interest in, but I wasn't certain what would spark it. I began looking into other anime, and I eventually found Promised Neverland, Fire Force, Dr. Stone, and several others, eventually finding my favorite manga, which had Adelir, which yes, that came around this year, but it all started because My Hero Academia really started me to enjoy this stuff. That's why My Hero Academia has my first favorite spot as an anime. And while it does keep its spot at number three for sentimental reasons, if I hadn't found that first, then it probably wouldn't be even close to there. And eventually, I will grow out of it, leaving it behind to grow into something else. Obviously, Miraculous came about, and obviously, I loved it. I found so much enjoyment from it, along with 
learning more about Final Fantasy with Final Fantasy 15, 14, 9, I finally felt like I could play a game that was truly fun. And I was excited. Kingdom Hearts, I was back into it. With the re-releases, I could play these games wherever I was. I could play them on the PS4, I could play them on the PS3, I didn't have to play them on a PS2 that I didn't have. And I was having fun again. And I finally realized it was time to start up again. To bring YouTube back. To make theories about these things. While it was small and shortcoming at the beginning, I eventually grew back into it. I made videos every now and again starting in the summer of 2018. And I was happy. I was making videos. I was having a good time. Eventually, Halloween came about, and me and my friend made a stupid skit that, honestly, I... I'm really glad that it did well. It didn't do as well as some other things, but it did well compared to some of my other content. And that was that was good enough. It was good enough to start actually caring again. So I delved into something new. Something that I hadn't thought of doing before. A video about Thanksgiving. A video to show people that Thanksgiving is one of the most important holidays that we have. A holiday right before the end of the year to say, Wow, this has been a good year, whether we think it has or not. We get to see our family and friends. We get to look back on the year and realize, Wow, it wasn't as bad as I thought. While 2018 and 2017 were not great years for me, especially 2018, it was okay. Because that Thanksgiving video had given me a new chance. While in that, in 2018, I had lost some very important family members with my great-grandma and my cousin, I was okay, and I could continue. I would continue to make videos and have fun with my friends, and eventually make stupid miraculous theories that everyone enjoys. <laughs> Obviously, my, my videos grew. I eventually made my Christmas videos, <laughs> the 25 Days of Nerdy Christmas. While it didn't do well in its first year, that was fine. It was something that had sparked something in me. I could make videos every day and have fun with it. And that's what I did for a good amount of 2019. With the move here to California, I could actually make something with this. Obviously, I would still have a little bit of time to wait as we lost my Chinchilla Diego and my, and more importantly, my grandma, who I didn't really get much of a chance to see due to the fact that she lived on the other side of the States. But luckily, we were able to visit them, to visit my family over there. And it, it was something that helped us all to grow, to become better. And it helped me realize, you know what? Maybe I can continue to make videos, do daily videos or even double daily videos, which 
is what happened. I was making videos again, and now look at us now. We're at 92 subscribers as of recording this video, and I honestly believe that there are many more years here on YouTube to come. I also think that before too long, we will be, I will be expanding my next book, which I won't tell you which one it's going to be, but that's going to be my goal. That's going to be my goal this year, to get that one done, to write it out, to get it done, to write this book before it reaches summer. Then work with my friends over the summer to make artwork, to edit the book to make it as good as possible as we're reuniting this year. And just to say, welcome back to a friend who we haven't really been able to contact for a long time. And honestly, I'm really excited for that. 2019 is over, but 2020, I believe that it will be a better year, a year filled with miraculous, a year filled with My Hero Academia, Promise Neverland, which Adelir most likely will begin its first season by the end of this year. Fire Force and Dr. Stone will become some new favorites along with, of course, Demon Slayer. Great shows that will continue to be great. Perhaps we will see some new things or some old things reemerge. With Kingdom Hearts 3 Remind coming soon, that also means that we have to look forward to the next Kingdom Hearts game. Kingdom Hearts Key, perhaps? I don't know. And as for this channel, honestly, I believe that we will grow. We will grow as a community. Theory review will continue. And so will so many other things. This channel and you guys will grow as people. And honestly, I believe that this is going to be one of the best decades that we've had. We've grown as humans, and we will continue to. 2010s were the, year, were the years of chaos. 2020s will be the years of growing. But anyways, guys, let me know down in the comments below what you thought of this entire year, or rather, this entire decade. If you want to share your resolutions, probably wait till next video. But anyways, guys, I have been Electro Ninja. Hopefully you guys have enjoyed this video. But anyways, guys, I have been Electro Ninja. I hope that you guys will all enjoy this new year. But on.